As the creator of the Selling in Southeast Michigan channel, I'm gonna let you in on a tiny little secret. The fact is that most of our clients do not move to Detroit, Michigan. About 95, maybe even 98% of our clients move to the northern or western suburbs. Why is that? They're looking for higher rated schools. They're looking for a slower pace of life. They're looking for new construction. All these other benefits that come with suburban living whenever it's compared to the city. But the question is, which suburb should you choose? Because there's so many options out there, it can get a little overwhelming, especially for those that are moving from out of state like California, New York, Illinois, Washington, D.C., maybe, maybe even back from Florida. We're seeing a huge influx of people coming in to Southeast Michigan. But that's the whole point of this channel and why we created it for you to try to remove some of that anxiety from searching for a new home in a new area. Now, some of you may be relocating with a job, so therefore you wanna be close proximity to that job and you've got several options. That's why we wanna reduce some of that confusion, maybe help you narrow down a few things because we're gonna break down the top six most popular suburbs so hopefully give you a little insight on why these areas are so popular. And ultimately, it's gonna be your decision. Usually based on our videos, people are able to narrow it down to at least one or two suburbs. So whenever you come into town, you're gonna to be able to make the decision. You don't have to drive all over Southeast Michigan because that took take several days, but that's exactly why you're gonna to wanna to grab your popcorn because this is gonna be an extensive overview of the top six suburbs. And I'm excited to walk you around Southeast Michigan. Let's start off with jumping into the map. By the way, my name is Paul Mahalo, which with the Selling and Southeast Michigan team. And if you're thinking about moving to Southeast Michigan area, feel free to reach out. We'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Southeast Michigan. And if you want to be the first to learn about the entire Southeast Michigan market, and the surrounding suburbs, make sure you subscribe below, tap on the bell for notifications. That way you'll never miss a video. So determining the top suburbs in Southeast Michigan can depend on various factors, including your individual preferences, your lifestyle or priorities for your family. However, there are several suburbs that in Southeast Michigan that are often considered desirable because of the amenities, schools, safety, and overall quality of life or distance to downtown or to the airport. The few suburbs that we're gonna talk about today is uh, Birmingham, Troy, Rochester. We're also going to talk about Royal Oak. Also, Plymouth is a, is a pretty popular one and Ann Arbor, which is to the more west side of the, of the state. So a lot of the ones from the city of Detroit, the northern suburbs, and also on the west. Can't go east because we would hit Canada. So those pretty much the roundup here, Ann Arbor, Plymouth, Troy, Rochester, and Birmingham. So the first city in the suburbs of Southeast Michigan we're going to talk about is Birmingham. It's really known for its upscale shops, really high-end restaurants, and it's a real affluent uh, suburban area with a vibrant downtown that's really walkable, just been redone. And it has excellent schools and attractive neighborhoods. Houses of prices can run anywhere under a million to upwards of five to 10 million. The median price is around 929,000 and it's ticking up. The price per square foot is around $333, $333 indicating a 10.4% increase compared to last year. Homes in the market typically sell for about 3% below the list price and go pending in around 23 days. Hot houses that are priced well can sell close to the list price and go pending in about six days. The population of Birmingham is just over 21,000. It's approximately 24.2 miles to the airport. If you wanna go downtown, it's only downtown Detroit, it's only 17 miles. In the schools, rating by niche.com is really highly rated with an average testing ranking of 10 out of 10, very unusual. It's really placing it in the top 5% public schools in Michigan. The district features a graduation rate of over 97%, which is significantly higher than the state average. And it includes over 13 public schools serving over 7,000 students. Second suburb on our list is Rochester and Rochester Hills. It's located in, in uh, Oakland County. It has a really charming downtown with boutique shops and restaurants. It's known for its historic homes and strong sense of community. One of the unique things about downtown Rochester, which is a pass through going north during the Christmas time, they'll have Christmas lights. It's really a, a fun thing to come down with your family and watch. The median price is about 344,000 and the price per square foot has increased 
in the last year to 17% to over $245 a square foot. Homes in Rochester typically sell for about 1% below the list price and go pending in around 16 days. Population is pretty low, it's around 12,000 people. Distance to the airport, 34 miles. We're going a little more north. Distance to downtown is about 24 miles. And the school rating by niche.com gives it an A+. Rochester School District includes 13 elementary schools, four middle schools, three high schools, some new ones there too, and uh, one alternative high school and a child care center serving the greater Rochester area. The district provides education to more than 15,000 students. The next suburb on our list is Royal Oak. It's also located in Oakland County, and it's really known for its walkable downtown in a variety of entertainment options and even an indoor farmer's market that's very popular on the weekends. The median sales price of a home in Royal Oak is around 320,000. The population as of 2023 is approximately 57,000. The distance to the airport is over 20 miles. Distance to downtown, we're getting closer, is about 12 miles. The school districts have received a B plus overall grade. According to niche.com, it ranks number 27 among the best school districts in the Detroit area and number 89 in Michigan. The ratings are really based on a variety of factors, including academic performance, teacher quality, and student and parent reviews. Very popular with the younger crowds. Troy is the fourth suburb of Detroit. It's also located in Oakland County. It's really a business hub with a strong economy and diverse population. It's great schools, lots of parks. It has a, one of the most popular malls in Southeast Michigan called Somerset Mall. It really makes a family-friendly suburb. The median price of homes in Troy was approximately 431,000. And that figure represents about a, over a 12% increase from the previous year. Population is 86,000, so we're getting more people. The distance to the airport is about 29 miles. Distance to downtown Detroit, it's a real quick 19 miles. And Detroit School District in Michigan is highly rated. Just similar to Birmingham, it has an overall grade of A+, according to niche.com. Ranks number two among the best school districts in Michigan. And number 55 among the best school districts in America. It's pretty cool. Troy, there are a total of 30 schools, which include 25 public schools and five private schools. The next suburb uh, on our list, number five, is Plymouth. It's located in Wayne County and has a really cool small town feel and it has a historic downtown and, and a lot of community events. It's often praised for its schools and family-friendly environment. The median listing home price in Plymouth was 519,000, reflecting a 13% increase year over year. The median home price per square foot is over $245. As of 2023, Plymouth had a population of over 9,000 people. It's about 12 miles from the airport, so that's really neat, it's close. If your job requires you to travel, also, the distance to downtown is approximately 21 miles. The Plymouth Canton Community Schools, which serves Plymouth, receives an overall grade of A from niche.com. It ranks number 38 among the best school districts in Michigan, number 15 in the Detroit area. Now, Plymouth has a total of about 15 schools, including 11 public schools and four private schools. The last suburb on our list, number six, is Ann Arbor. Ann Arbor is located on to the west of uh, Southeast Michigan from Detroit area as you're heading toward Chicago. One of the unique things about Ann Arbor, it's uh, often when you mention Ann Arbor, people think of the University of Michigan. It has a city with a suburban college town feel. The city offers a lot of cultural amenities, great schools and diverse community. The average median home price is over 405,000, which has decreased compared to the last year. The population is approximately 119,000 and the University of Michigan campus has an enrollment of over 51,000 uh, students and there's a substantial number of students significantly increases the population during the academic year almost by 50 percent which isn't uh, unusual. The distance to the airport is about uh, Detroit Metro is about 20 miles Downtown Detroit is about 35 miles. The Ann Arbor schools, public schools in Michigan are highly rated and has an A plus rating at niche.com. The Ann Arbor public schools comprises 21 elementary schools, seven middle schools, and five high schools. So really, really unique. So that was a brief overview of each of the six unique cities in the suburbs of Southeast Michigan. If you wanna check out our full video tours of Birmingham Royal Oak and the list goes on and on. 
Uh, that's why we document all of this in the channel for you because we know there's a lot of options out there you can choose from. It's hard to start narrowing down, especially when you're out of state. The main thing is to review all the information, go through the videos, and they're gonna help you quite a bit. Do some research and ultimately just give us a call if you want to walk through your situation. Before deciding to live in Southeast Michigan, it's essential to weigh the pros and cons based on your personal preferences, career goals, lifestyle, and family needs. They will definitely play a significant role in determining whether Southeast Michigan is the right fit for you. Call or contact our team and we, we can help answer any of your questions. Thank you for watching and remember, no matter if you're moving or buying in nine or nine days, let's connect. Subscribe to my channel to learn all about selling in Southeast Michigan or give us a call, email, or shoot us a text to answer any of your questions. See you on the next one.